Hi friends. So today what we're going to be doing is adding three digit numbers to each other. This is something we're already really pretty familiar with and all we're going to do today is add the three digit numbers together but we're going to work with kind of doing it using different types of strategies and tools. Okay so the ones that we're familiar with so far are number lines, right? Base 10 blocks. And sometimes we even do it in our head without anything. Okay, so those are three tools that we work with all the time. And today what we're going to be doing is just practicing using those different tools and figuring out which one is best for us. So I am going to ask you when you do your journal work today to be able to try all three of those tools. And then afterwards, you might decide which one works best and you'll use that moving on. So the first one problem we have is 625 plus 134. And the first tool we're going to use is a number line. Okay, so it's 625 plus 134. Our number line is blank. So I, you know I love a blank number line. So that means I can label it whatever I want. And I can make my jumps however big I want. And... That's that. Okay, so 625, I'm sorry, one more time. I'm adding 134. I'm going to write that down so I don't forget. So plus 134. So we are going to need to take a jump of 100, a jump of 30, and a jump of four ones. Okay, so I'm labeling my hundreds, tens, and ones just so I don't forget, okay? If I took a jump of one instead of 100, that makes a huge difference, right? Yeah, so we're at 625, and first, I like to start with my biggest numbers first to get them over with. I'm gonna take a jump of 100, so here we go. Here's my jump of 100, plus 100, and I'm doing this so that I'm keeping track of my Thoughts. So when you, second graders, my checkers go to check my work, you can see where I went wrong if I did. So 100 plus 625. Those are friendly numbers. I know that that gets me to 725. Great. All right, so I added my 100. Now I have 34 left to jump. Instead of just jumping 34, I'm going to break that number up and do my 10s first. So I'm going to do three jumps of 10. You can do three jumps of 10. You can do a jump of 20 and a jump of 10. You can do a jump of 30, whatever you want, however your brain works. But whatever you do, it's good to label it so that I know what you did. And you can easily tell that I did three jumps of 10. So 725 plus 10 is 735 plus another 10 is 745 plus another 10 is 755. All right. Sorry, it's not the neatest, but that's okay. All I have left is my four jumps of one. So 755 plus four. You could do four little jumps of one if you wanted, but I'm just going to do a jump of four. Does my hundreds place change? Nope. Does my tens place change? Nope. What about my ones? Yes, that has to go up by four. So 5 plus 4, I know in a snap, is 9. So 625 plus 134 is 759. And that is using the tool of a number line. Okay. Now we're going to try a new problem, but we're going to use blocks. So... I, I do have some blocks, but I know you guys probably don't have blocks at home. So what I'm going to show you is 
drawing our blocks, which is really just as good as having them, right? We can draw them just as easy as if we had them here in front of us. So I'm going to make my 342. Whoops. What did I do wrong? I made three tens. I need to make three what types of blocks? Three one hundreds, right? So there we go. So I have my three hundreds. Now I make my four tens. And I make my two ones. All right. Now we have 126. 100 block. Two tens blocks. And six ones. Okay. Now we have our blocks. If we had real blocks in front of us, we would probably move them around to make it easier to count. But instead, I'm just going to count them. So I have 100, 200, 300, 400. So I have 400 blocks. So that means a 4 goes in the 100 spot. 100 spot, 10 spot, 1 spot. All right, so next I'm going to count my 10s. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Six tens. My last step is to count my ones. So instead of counting my ones, I'm going to be a good second grade math mathematician. Think on my feet. I'm going to count on. I'm going to start with my bigger number, which I have six over here, and I'm going to count on two. Six, seven, eight. 342 plus 126 is 468. All right. That was using blocks or drawing blocks. And our last option is to just do it in our heads. Okay? If you're not ready for this one, don't even worry about it. Either use your number line or use your blocks. But I want to show you the option of doing it in your head. So the biggest thing to remember when you do it in your head is to not confuse which what place value you're adding. So we have two 100s over here and two 100s over here. What is 2 plus 2? 4. So we have four 100s total. Now we move on to our 10s. We have three 10s over here, one 10 over here. What's three plus one? Four. Now our ones. Three ones over here. Five ones over here. Three and five is eight. Now we're going to write our answer. So four hundreds is actually the number four hundred, right? So we have four hundred plus four tens, four tens, remember, is 40, and eight ones is just an eight. So 233 plus 215 is 448. So that is kind of like doing it in our heads. It wasn't completely in our heads because we had to record stuff and write stuff down, but that's totally fine. So it's up to you to decide which one you like the best. Did you like doing it in your head, using some blocks, or using the number line?